And in a significant move aimed at addressing youth unemployment and fostering economic development, the Jigawa State Government has partnered with the federal government to train 300 participants from the state's three senatorial districts. This initiative aligns with President Bola Ahmed Chinubu's renewed hope agenda and Governor Umar Namadi's 12-point agenda, both of which emphasize job creation and youth empowerment. Here's more. The special assistance to President Tinobu leading a delegation paid a courtesy call to Governor Umar Namadi at the government house following a successful roundtable discussion with the participants. This interaction has called the collaborative efforts between state and federal authorities to provide practical skills and opportunities for the Timon youth population. The training is coming at the right time, especially for us in Jigawa. Uh, we are already we have already the uh, Jigar State Executive Council have approved the establishment of passion centers in three of the senatorial districts. This passion hub is going to be a set of art equipments, embroidery, and also sewing machines. Embroidery for so many other things, for women, for men, and everything. It's a complete hub. And uh, there is going to be a lot of training. We'll train the youth. And you can come from anywhere after you come and pee and sew your clothes and then take it. During the roundtable, participants engaged in discussions on the fashion industry's potentials to drive economic growth and create sustainable jobs. The training program, which will span several months, is designed to equip the youths with skills in various aspects of fashion design, tailoring and entrepreneurship. The special assistant to the president highlighted the importance of such collaborations in realizing the broader objectives of the renewed hope agenda. We, we we all know we all know what the the agenda of Mr. President is under the renewed hope agenda. Uh, job creation is the critical part of that of that agenda. And for us, for every state that we go to, we, we tend to focus on uh, the things that are uh, what's the word again the things that are dominant in that in that state. And for Jigawa State, we've seen that fashion and, and the leather industry is, is thriving, thriving here. So that's why we've decided to start this project on the, on the fashion and the, and the leather industry. We are very glad that the federal government under the office of the vice president have come up with an initiative to support fashion industry in Jigawa State. That's why they are here for round table. And we had the opportunity to have this round table in, in Duse and it will carry on in the two senatorial districts remaining in Jigawa State. Part of what they are here to do to have the opportunity to interact with stakeholders with a view to a certain level of preparedness for our passion designers in Jigawa State to embrace this kind of opportunity. And we are delighted that our youth have come out to benefit from this program. It is a program that um, is intended to get, get all the passion uh, players uh, in the passion industry together have a round table as you had today you can see what was we have done uh, discuss with them see exactly their pain areas and uh, which kind of training they will require and what kind of support they will be able to get and as you had it during the program they mentioned that um, they are going to give them uh, three months as well as uh, six weeks training for them to uh, for those that are already in the in, in the industry and have already been doing something like that to be able to enhance their own skills and way of doing um, the passion uh, materials and equipment that they are pulling out of their uh, places. The participants drawn from diverse backgrounds across Jigawa State expressed their gratitude for the opportunity to gain new skills. Many see this as a chance to not only improve their personal livelihoods but also to contribute to the economic development of their communities.